tired of sending 30 couch requests every time you want to do couch surfing, I promise you, you won't need to do it anymore after watching this video. Hello everyone, I am Mary J. I am a full-time traveler and in my videos I show you how you can travel everywhere you want, even if you are on a super tight budget. I also make specific videos about couch surfing and I've already made a few. They are all linked in the description below. If you are interested, please feel free to watch them. And subscribe to my channel if you want more of them. I started using consistently couch surfing six months ago. No, it's seven. I've been staying with a dozen of hosts, I guess. And I'll tell you what, every time I need a new accommodation, I send one couch request. You heard right, I sent one couch request, that's it. And talking to the people while I was traveling, everyone was so surprised that I was able to get accepted every time and by sending only one couch request at a time. So I figured, hmm, Maybe I'm good at this, maybe I should make a video about it and help other people to do the same. Because I know what it means to send 30 couch requests every time, because as I told you, I did it at the beginning. So I hope that this video will come to people who are just starting using couch surfing in order to let them understand what's the right method to use it. Many people think that in order to get your couch request accepted on couch surfing, you have to be either good looking or a woman. Despite of this fact that some people use couch surfing as a dating app, couch surfing is not. So if you get accepted only because you are a girl or you are good looking, that is not a good sign, right? But the biggest myth about getting accepted on couch surfing is that in order to find an accommodation, you have to send tons of requests. And I get it. I did the same when I first started, when I was younger. Because when you first start, you don't usually send the right request. So the result is that no one is answering you. You get anxious because the trip is coming closer and closer and you don't have an accommodation yet. So what you do is you copy the message and paste to many different messages, right? I think so many of you do that because pretty much everyone applied this method when they first start using couchsurfing. But after years of experience on couchsurfing, I can tell you that this method does not pay off. You spend a lot of time sending tons of requests and then in some cases you can get accepted by one, but in many cases you don't get accepted at all. Okay, I'm sorry because the light is changing so much, but I'm in Canada right now and the weather here changes like every five minutes. It's incredible. Now is the 19th of October. It is snowing and at the same time the sun is shining very strongly. Don't mind the light, please. Mind what I have to say. Please stop doing this mistake. Don't copy and paste the messages to send tons of requests to hopefully get accepted from any one of the hosts. Because if you manage to get accepted, it is just because of luck and not because you're doing the right things. So now I'll tell it very clearly. The secret to get accepted on couchsurfing is simply to write a very good couch request. And today, I'm telling you how to do it. So first of all, let's say that you have already researched deeply many hosts in the city you're going. And this is a very important step, both to have a good couchsurfing experience and for your safety. As I said in the, the, this video, this video here. So at the end of this video, I suggest you go to this one. You will find it linked in the description below also and watch it because it's all about safety of couch surfing. So let's say you have already researched and you selected one or two or three. I sent one request at the time because I spent a lot of time writing a request, but you can decide to send two at the time also. It's up to you. So you select the host and you start reading multiple times carefully his profile, watching the pictures, reading all his references. Your two profiles are going to be similar. You have to have some interests in common 
and while reading his profile you have to feel that you are almost friends already. This is the sensation I get almost every time I read a good host's profile. Now let's break up the requests. First, you're meeting, meeting a person for the first time, so say hi and introduce yourself. Write one or two lines where you say who you are, that you have read his profile and why it is interesting for you. Second, the first section has to be a description of yourself as a person. So you write from five to ten lines telling this person who you are because this person doesn't know you at all. He never met you and he won't meet you in person till the day he hosts you if he accepts to host you. So the more information you give about yourself, the more the host is going to willing to host you probably, right? because you are more likely to host someone that you already know than someone you don't know anything about. So write something about yourself, your passions, the kind of personality you have, the kind of person you are, what are your favorite things. And I also suggest you to write what is your concept of traveling if you do it just on holiday, just to go relax, take a break from your work, from your routine, or like I do, for example, I do it as a lifestyle, I'm a full-time traveler. This is the place where I say it. <coughs> and also say, <coughs> and also explain why you are using couchsurfing, right? Let the person understand that you're not only doing it to save money. And if you do it only to save money, probably you shouldn't do it at all. Third section is about your trip. Here you are going to write everything about your trip, every little detail. The more details, the better for the host, because he will be able to understand better also the logistics. So for example, explain if it's the first time you go to that country or you have already visited. Say why you're going to visit that country in particular. Tell how long are you staying. How are you going to arrive at the host place? If you are traveling by car, if you're coming from the airport, you're taking a bus or a taxi to get to the city. Explain everything, at what time, what do you want to do in your trip, what expectations do you have, is it going to be an adventurous trip, you want to go hiking all the time, or you're more interested in the cultural stuff, going to the museums, or you just want to take a walk in the city and have a lot of food, street food, or whatever is your goal for the trip. Oh, and also, if you're traveling with someone and you are requesting the couch for not only for yourself, make sure that this person has a couchsurfing profile. It's not right to host someone who doesn't have a couchsurfing profile. I would never do it as a host. I know some other hosts have done it, but in most of the cases they regret it. And they did it just because they were just starting and they didn't know how to behave. So please, if you're coming with someone, make that clear to the host, of course, in the request, and link to the couchsurfing profile of this other person. Fourth section. This is very, very, very important because this is the section that's all about your host or your potential host. Before writing this section, I suggest you to open the host profile in another tab and have it under your eyes. So you want to read this profile very carefully and for everything that you have in common with what you read, you comment on your requests. So if this person says, oh, my favorite trip this year has been Iceland, and you go and write, oh, hey, I see that you went to Iceland. I went there too, and I enjoyed it so much. What did you see? I saw that part, um, blah, blah, blah. Or for example, you see that he loves hiking, and you go, hey, I love hiking too. I come from near the Alps, so I go hiking on the Alps all the time. Or, hey, I see that you are interested in photography. I love to do photography too, and to go to expositions and stuff like that. The main goal of this section which is the main goal of the request in general also. So pay attention to this. The main goal is to show this person what you have to offer to him or to her. The request doesn't have to be about you only. Of course, you have to explain who you are and describe yourself, but the focus has to be the host itself. So look at the thing on 
your host per perspective. And this is why I always suggest to people who just started couch surfing to host first and then to start surfing. This person is going to welcome in his house, his private space, a person he has never met before in his life, who is going to stay for free there for some days. The host will probably have some, some expensive in order to host you. And I talk about this in this video here. I will also link it in the description below if you want to watch it. So you have to make sure that you have something to offer to him or to her, right? And you have to be able to guess what this person is interested in getting from you. So it could be a great story, it could be some skills that you have, maybe he loves Russian cuisine and he can't cook and you are Russian and you are a great cook, so that could be a great exchange. Or maybe he's learning German, you are German, he can practice. Or maybe he likes to go fishing and you love to go fishing so he can have a companion to go with. Your host has to know that you are not choosing him randomly because it's the first profile that came into your feed, but because you are interested in know, in getting to know him better, you know? Couchsurfing is all about friendship and trust. You're going to be friends and you have to show him that you can be friends. Fifth section, your expectation from the interaction. This is one that gets quite often bypassed, but I think it's quite important for the quality of the interaction if you get accepted. And also in terms of safety, as I explained, in that video that I suggested you go watch it. So tell him exactly what you expect from this interaction, from this whole experience. Be clear about that. So for example, are you looking for company when you visit the city or you're going to visit the city by yourself? Are you going to have meals together? Uh, do you want to cook for your host or you want to go out for dinner together sometimes? Some people just chat with each other when they arrive, but then for three or four days they almost don't speak to each other, which is something hosts don't usually want to do because if you're hosting someone you want an interaction, but let the host know what you want. If you're more a party person and you expect to go to go drink in the city together or if you want your host to show you some good hikes around the city or if you want to watch a movie together, be careful in America about this. If you want to go to a concert, to ride the bike through the city, to the theater, to a show, I don't know. Give your host some ideas of activities you can do together or Give your host an idea how often he's going to see you. <laughs> because if your intention is to leave at 8 in the morning and come back at midnight, your host has to know about it. And in the end, you just want to say goodbye and let me know as soon as possible. Thank you for your attention. And if you want, you can sign even if he can see your name from your profile, but it's nice to sign also with a nickname if you want, it's up to you. So what has to come out from your request is that you are doing couchsurfing for the right purpose, which is to make a new friends, to have a cultural exchange or an exchange of opinions or experiences or something like that. It's obvious that anyone does it to have a free accommodation, but this doesn't have to be the primary purpose, you know? Your host place is not a free hotel room, so be respectful. This said, there are also some hosts who will accept you even if you write a two-line request. They're usually the youngest one or people who just started on couch surfing, but couch surfing is so much more than a free accommodation. I highly suggest you to try to do it the right way because it will give you amazing experiences, I promise you. Now, I also prepared a PDF that you can download it for free immediately from the description below. There is a link you can click on and it is just a one-page thing that you can use when you have to send a couch request with the points that I just listed. 
If you follow these advices, I promise you, you will write a kick-ass couch request and you will be accepted for sure. And I also promise you that you will have a blast because couch surfing is so much fun. Okay, now please subscribe to my channel if you like this video and if you need more information about couch surfing, please go watch my couch surfing playlist on my channel because I made a few videos about it. Because I did it quite a bit, I'm trying to educate people to use it the best way. So please, if you consider to start doing couch surfing, go watch the other videos. If you have any other questions, please pop them in the comments below and I will make sure to answer you right away. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.